Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to project text onto a curved surface in Shaper 3D. Um, it's after a comment on one of my previous videos, so I thought it'd be easier to reply with a video. Um, if you do find this helpful, please do subscribe, please comment, I'll always try and help when I can. Um, so let's get started. So now to get started, I'm going to start by drawing a sketch on the front plane. So if I go to sketch, I'm going to just draw a cylinder that's 300 uh, mil in diameter and tick it. And I'm going to just go up to the close button here and go back up to my view cube, click a corner. So I'm in back into isometric view and I'm going to go to tools and then I'm going to click this little extrude button here. And I'm going to extrude this cylinder out, this circle out to make a cylinder. And I'm going to do it 500 mil. I'm going to tick it. And then from there, I'm going to go click the top plane and just rotate it around using these little arrows in the top right hand corner. So now I've got a 3D cylinder and I'm looking down on the top. And all I'm going to do is if I click sketch just to show you, my sketch plane is in the middle of the cylinder. You can see it there. So just close that sketch. And what I'm going to do is go to add and I'm going to click text. Uh, and I'm going to put interactive card, which is the name of my YouTube channel. And tick. If you do find this helpful, please do subscribe. And I'm going to put probably put it at around 25 mil high and continue. So now you can see it's in the wrong orientation. So I'm going to rotate it round. So you can just see the H from the tech there. So I'm going to make it night. Rotate it around 90. I went too far there. But now I still can't see it. So if I go to the isometric view on the view cube. And actually you can see I've still got the text selected. I'm going to pull it up out of the, out of the cylinder like that. And then from there I'm just going to. As long as it's above your curved surface. Which if I go to back you can see it is and I'm going to try and put it in the middle as well and go back if I click a corner on the cube right the view cube I'm going to get back to an isometric view and I'm going to click done so now I have interactive Canon tech in text written above the curved surface if I go to my little tree here I'm going to click sketch plane 2 which is that which is our inter interactive Canon tech and now I'm going to go to more here. So I've clicked on the sketch plane. So sketch plane one is the circle where my cylinder is. Then you've got body one, which is my body, which is the cylinder. So if you click on the sketch plane with your text in and click more and go to project, I've already got, because I've used the sketch, clicked on the sketch plane, I've already got the text highlighted. And if I click the surface and click done, you can see I've put interactive CAD and tech on the curved surface. I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.